and welcome to Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, pharmacist, Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be. But you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are your go-to. We are your go-to source for good, clean, concise, succinct health information. 844-236-6010 is our number. That's 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or formulations, ingredients, our Truth Skin Health products, if you have a success story you'd like to share or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. Please try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible at 844-236-6010. If you have a, uh, if you want to join the Brightside Ben team, if you want to uh, sell longevity products, start yourself a longevity business, or if you just want to get your longevity products at the wholesale price, call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Or you can head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Those are my blogs, and uh, got news stories as well as blog posts on all the sites. And of course, you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the site as well, right off the sites as well. You can also purchase products right off the websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and pharmacistben.com. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, including our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, you want to head over to truthtreatments.com. Check out our Retinol 5% Gel and Truth Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and Truth Balm all packed with vitamin C. Your Truth Retinol 5% Gel also has 5% retinol. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, water, oil, silicon, or anything your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. If you have sensitive skin, you want uh, these are the only products you should be using if you have sensitive skin. In fact, these are the only products you should be using anyway because most other products are made with 90% water and filler and wax and on top of all that you got to deal with preservatives and often fragrances as well never any of those things in our truth skin health products truthtreatments.com if you're dealing with aging skin thinning skin hyperpigmented dark spots acne skin tags even bug bites i got a letter from a friend of mine she said she applied the topical uh, retinol 5% gel topically on bug bites and it helped improve the healing of, of bites i who knew retinol's amazing stuff and the reason it's amazing stuff is because of its relationship to the deeper levels of the skin. That is the connective tissue, and that's what we are talking about today, specifically about the skin and its relationship to the connective tissue. We've talked about the connective tissue in the joints and the heart and the circulation. Later on, we're going to talk about the connective tissue in the digestive tract. Broken down connective tissue in the intestine is leaky gut syndrome. I know we, we talk about leaky gut syndrome, or as the medical folks say, intestinal permeability syndrome. This is when the intestinal, intestinal wall breaks down and foods, food particles enter into the blood. 
everybody who's dealing with a degenerative disease, probably everybody who's over the age of 40 or 50 is dealing with some kind of at least minor uh, leaky gut syndrome issues. Certainly if you're dealing with an autoimmune disease, which is that's basically the cause of autoimmune diseases, is leaky gut syndrome. If you're dealing with chronic degenerative issues of any kind, you're pretty much guaranteed that you got some, at least some aspect of leaky gut syndrome going on, and that is a connective tissue problem. And we'll be spending time talking about the relationship of the digestive tract to the connective tissue. Later on, we'll talk about the bones in the connective tissue or osteoporosis as a connective tissue problem. Osteoporosis is not a calcium issue. And any doctor who tells you that is a bonehead, at least a bonehead biochemist. Calcium deficiency is not the reason for osteoporosis and taking calcium is not gonna make your osteoporosis go away. On the other hand, Osteoporosis is a connective tissue problem. That is a protein and collagen issue and degeneration of the bones as occurs in, uh, when we're dealing with osteoporosis is just another example of connective tissue deterioration that's linked to aging and breakdown and bad living. We're going to talk about the nervous system and the connective tissue and its uh, relationship to uh, neuralgias and neuropathies. But for now, I want to talk about everybody's favorite organ and that is the skin and its relationship to healthy connective tissue. There's hundreds of different diseases that affect the connective tissue specifically, but in a general sense, all of our deterioration and degenerative diseases are about the connective tissue. And because the connective tissue is a unified system, degeneration in one part of the connective tissue, in the bones, for example, or in the joints, or in the blood vessels, is inevitably going to show up on the skin. That's because what gives the skin its beautiful, taut, youthful look is about the connective tissue. And when the connective tissue deteriorates on the inside, it is inevitably going to deteriorate on the outside. And this logic can be applied in two directions. First, it means that if you're dealing with heart disease, if you're dealing with cardiovascular problems, if you're dealing with, uh, if you have a history of stroke or blood clots, or if you're on a statin drug because they tell you you're, you've got uh, sclerosis, atherosclerosis, and cholesterol starting to build up, or if you have arthritis, or if you have osteoporosis, it means you are very likely going to be dealing with wrinkles. It means you're very likely going to be dealing with accelerated skin aging symptoms. That means if you have heart disease or osteoporosis or arthritis, you're likely going to also have aging skin as well, accelerated aging of the skin as well. And because your skin aging uh, issues are based in the connective tissue and based on the inside, it means that your wrinkle creams probably aren't going to do you much good. It means that your topical strategies are only going to be able to go so far in correcting your wrinkles because the problem is inside. It's in the connective tissue, especially if your anti-aging topical products do not feature vitamin C, vitamin A, and alpha hydroxy acids, or perhaps beta hydroxy acid, salicylic acid, glycolic acid, lactic acid. Even the alpha hydroxy acids that are found in apple cider vinegar, or even the alpha hydroxy acids that are found in just plain lemon juice or orange juice. Alpha, and we're going to spend a lot of time talking about alpha hydroxy acids, which I absolutely love and I've loved since 1990, uh, since 1989 and 1990 when I started working with them. That's how long I've been working with these things. I bought my first drum of glycolic acid in 1990 before anybody ever knew, uh, had heard of it. Alpha hydroxy acids, glycolic acid, beta hydroxy acid, salicylic acid, vitamin C and vitamin A are must haves, must haves if you are serious about anti-aging the skin. Why? Because these are the only two topical ingredients that in real life that is in vivo, not just in, the, in a test tube, not just in a petri dish, but in real life have been shown to drive the production of connective tissue. With those exceptions, if you are using a wrinkle cream on top of your skin that Cindy Crawford and her doctor, uh, doctor French doctor who uh, discovered the watermelon extract or the melon extract or whatever kind of melon extract, if that's what you're using, you've been suckered. Cindy Crawford is abusing you, yes, and so is Dr. Savak. They can do nothing for the connective tissue. If you're dealing with any kind of internal condition, it's going to show up on the skin as a connective tissue problem. If you're not using vitamin C, vitamin A, and alpha hydroxy acids, you're out of luck. 
These are the only ingredients that have been shown definitively to drive the production of collagen, which is connective tissue, hyaluronic acid, which is connective tissue, elastin, which is connective tissue, and as uh, also glucosamine, which is part of the connective tissue, and moisture factors, which are also derived, at least, from the connective tissue. There's another direction, too. It goes in both directions. Not only does uh, does internal uh, problems, or not only will internal problems show up on the skin, but the skin is also diagnostic of internal problems. We'll talk about that in just a moment. All right, we are back on the bright side at Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number, and we got a uh, full uh, empty board. Full empty board. I'm not sure how to say that correctly, but... Uh, nobody's on the line. 844-236-6010 is our number. Try to call in early so we can get to all your calls. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, formulations, ingredients, our Truth Skin Health products, if you've got skin health questions, that is my personal, personally my favorite organ. I've been working with the skin now for for uh, 30 plus years. First started formulating skincare products in 1983. And you know what? We didn't know a lot about the skin in 1983. This is kind of interesting. We didn't really learn about how how the skin works and how, uh, uh, the relationship between topical active ingredients in the skin until maybe the last 20 or 25 years. And that's really one of the biggest problems with skincare is most skincare products and most skincare formulations are based in a science that is 150 years old. There's a really cool book called Hope in a Jar, which is the uh, Helena Rubinstein story. Helena Rubinstein is considered to be the, the mother or the, the originator of modern skincare. She was the first person to really make it okay to use skincare products. Before Helena Rubinstein and, uh, at the turn of the 20th century, the only people who used topical skincare were actresses and prostitutes. Vamps, as they call them. Helena Rubinstein made it okay to use topical skincare, but she didn't know anything about the skin. Nobody knew anything about the skin when she was developing her products in the late 1800s and early 1900s. And, and the lotion and potion, the lotions and creams that we use today are based in these ideas. Helena Rubinstein's ideas that you can just rub stuff on the surface of your skin and make your skin look good. The idea of activating the fibroblasts, the connective tissue, driving the production of collagen, healing the skin with topical means, this is a, a, only about 20, 25 years old. The science is only about 20 or 25 years old. When I started uh, working in the skincare business, working for Blistex in the, or in the 1980s, I, I would go to the library. One of my jobs was to go to the library and do research, and there wasn't a lot of stuff about the skin. Retinoids, retinoic acid, and vitamin A had just come out. Uh, as a topical ingredient, and that was the only thing anybody knew about as far as as far as working uh, working topically with the skin. Today we know that not only are retinoids, not only are vitamin A uh, ingredients, vitamin A like ingredients important, but so is vitamin C, so is alpha hydroxy acids, and indeed, with these three ingredients, you can do some tremendous things to improve the look of the skin, to improve the thickness of the skin, to anti-age the skin, and to reverse fine lines, wrinkles, and crow's feet. Yes, to reverse them once they're already there. Certainly to reverse photo damage as well. So the skin is linked to the connective tissue inside the body. And this link, this connection, if you will, goes in two directions. It means if you're dealing with heart disease, if you're dealing with uh, uh, broken down blood vessels, if you're dealing with osteoporosis, if you're dealing with arthritis and joint disease, if you have a connective tissue disease, Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, for example, more than likely it's going to show up on the skin eventually, and most wrinkle creams are not going to be able to touch it unless you're using vitamin C, vitamin A, and alpha hydroxy acids. Even then, if you're breaking down, you're breaking down. There's only so much you can do topically. The second important point is that the relationship between the connective tissue and the skin is diagnostic. That is, if you have accelerated aging of the skin, if you have accelerated thinning of the skin, if you have uh, accelerated formation of wrinkles and crow's feet, the chances are pretty darn good you're also dealing with an internal condition as well. That is, you can read the internal condition of the body by looking at the skin because of this connection. 
if you have uh, accelerated aging of the skin, chances are pretty good that you're dealing with impending heart disease or joint disease, or you have it, or perhaps an autoimmune disease. So accelerated aging of the skin, accelerated development of, of wrinkles, thinning skin, as well as dermatitis, uh, dermatitis, dermatitises, I guess you'd say, or eczema, or chronic and severe skin dryness. All of these are indicative that something is percolating inside of the body. And this relationship between the inside of the body and the outside of the body, between internal conditions and our skin, is one of the most important lessons that I personally learned as a pharmacist and as a skincare professional, as a chemist and as a therapist. And I believe this is the most important lesson of the skin. There's no outer condition, there's no outer problem without an inner one. Rarely does anyone just have a skin condition. I don't care what it is. It doesn't have to be accelerated aging. Rarely does anyone just have acne. In fact, it's impossible to just have acne. It's impossible to just have rosacea. It's impossible to just have psoriasis. With rare exceptions for contact issues, so-called contact dermatitis, where you touch, where something touches the surface of your skin and you break out, this does happen occasionally with things like nickel, for example, or gluten, topical gluten allergies. There's a condition called concrete dermatitis. Some of the ingredients in concrete can cause rashes and dermatitis surface uh, on the surface of the skin. Construction workers will get it. Bakers will sometimes get contact dermatitis from gluten in grains and in wheat. But but this is rare. It's almost impossible, with some exceptions, to just have a skin condition because of this connective tissue relationship. The connective tissue not only connects all the cells of the body, not only connects all the tissues and structures of the body, the connective tissue connects the inside to the outside. And of course, while healthy connective tissue is important for the inside, everybody knows that, nowhere is connective tissue building strategy more important, at least from a cosmetic and a, and a superficial standpoint, than on the skin. Now here's the thing about the skin. Looks are deceiving. When we look at the skin, we almost never think about it as a layered structure. It doesn't look like it's layered, but it is. You've got to use your biological or biochemical x-ray vision. And you've got to look at the skin. From now on, everybody listening to this program, if you're interested in having beautiful skin or if you've got a skin problem, when you look at your skin, look at it as if it's layered. I know it doesn't seem like it's layered, but use your imagination and look at your skin as if it is layered. The top layer is dead. It's made up of dead cells, and it's got some chemicals in there, some moisture factors and fats, but for the, and there's some enzymatic action, there's some enzyme activity, but for the most part, the cells on the surface of the skin is dead, are dead. And the reason for this is because this layer is protective. It's hard. It's like a shell. It's like a very thin layer of fingernail. Imagine your fingernails. Look at your fingernails and pretend or imagine there's a thin, microscopically thin layer of fingernail on the surface of your skin, a microscopically thin layer of rhinoceros horn on your skin, or a microscopically thin layer of deer antler on your skin. It's all the same stuff. It's called keratin. The stuff that makes deer antlers hard and rhinoceros horns hard is also the stuff that's on the, on the surface of your skin. It's a thin layer of rhinoceros horn on the surface of your skin. And it's a good thing we have it. And when you, when you think about it, that thin layer of rhinoceros horn on the surface of your skin, keratin, rhinoceros horn, holds everything in place. If you didn't have, if we didn't have a thin layer of rhinoceros horn on the surface of our skin, we would dissolve into a puddle of mush. That hard layer, that microscopically thin hard layer, maybe as, as thick as a, a tenth of a piece of notebook paper, holds us all in place, keeps our shape, and it's phenomenally important stuff. Without that thin layer, all the moisture would evaporate. Indeed, this is one of the major causes of dry skin. Not the only cause, but one of the causes is a defective skin barrier. And this is what allows skincare companies to use Vaseline and Vaseline and like substances like waxes to, prom uh, to supposedly prevent skin dryness. All right, I got more to say about this, and we'll take your phone calls as well. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. Bright 
Society, 442366010 is our number. Hang on if you're on hold. We will get to you here. I want to read a couple of stories, and we'll get to you right after that. And then we do have some lines open at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or our Truth Skin Health products, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, if you just want to comment on anything we're talking about here today, skin care or skin health issues, wrinkles, uh, connective tissue issues, whatever you want to talk about, A uh, 236 6010 is our number. Okay, uh, let's see, post, this is from uh, an article from the Journal of Diabetes Investigation, published December 15th, postprandial, that means after eating, postprandial means post-eating, uh, postprandial, post-eating, hyper glycemia, high blood sugar, linked to cardiovascular disease incidence in type 2 diabetes. This is really interesting. Apparently, according to this article, uh, for patients with, uh, who are dealing with type 2 diabetes, uh, post-eating hyperglycemia, that's the blood sugar rise that occurs after you eat, is associated with uh, incidences of cardiovascular disease and all-cause mortality. That means after you eat, you are at, if you have type 2 diabetes, and many of us, even if we're di not diagnosed as such, are dealing with these kinds of issues. After we eat, we're more prone towards heart attacks. And this is really important because it indicates the biochemical changes that occur after we eat. After we eat anything, after we eat spinach, after we eat whatever we eat, certainly processed foods and high calories and overeating will exacerbate the problem. But even after we eat anything, a salad, biochemistry has changed in the body. And what kind of biochemistry has changed? Inflammatory biochemistry, immune biochemistry, defensive biochemistry. After we eat, the body goes into a defensive posture. After we eat, the body goes into an inflammatory posture. After we eat, the body's defense and immune mechanisms kick in. Because when you think about it, the enemy has entered into the system. The body is like a country, and food is like a, a, a terrorist, or at least like an invader of some kind. Now, obviously, we do need to have some food. We do need to be nourished. But for the most part, what we eat activates the body's defenses, because for the most part, what we eat doesn't nourish. So when we eat anything, we are at higher risk for degenerative, uh, high risk for heart disease, and we will exacerbate inflammatory and degenerative processes as well, which is why, number one, it's important to watch what you eat. Number two, it's why it's important to restrict your calories. Number three, it's important to use nutrients with your food. Nutrients like vitamin C and vitamin E and essential fatty acids can mitigate some of the toxic effects or some of the inflammatory effects that are associated with food. Of course, we know that most of our food supply is devoid of nutrients. So we're getting the calories, we're getting the heat, we're getting the potential invaders and enemies without the nutrients that the body needs to protect itself. That's why you want to sip on your Beyond Tangy Tangerine with your meals, especially if you're eating McDonald's or especially if you're eating any processed food or especially if you're eating any uh, nutritionally deficient food. Use your Beyond Tangy Tangerine with your meals. Also, if you're diabetic or even if you're not, it's a good idea to drink water with your meals. I know you hear all the time about how you're not supposed to drink water with your meals. It'll dilute your digestive juices. Horse hockey, baloney. Your digestive juices are mostly, or at least partially, made up of water. Your digestive juices are designed to work in a watery environment. When the food drips into your intestine from your stomach, it drips in as a soup, and it needs water to do it. Now, we should be getting water in our food. That's, where, uh, that's, where, uh, that's the best kind of water. We're going to talk about that one here in the coming days, how food water, specifically vegetable and botanical water, plant water, fruit water, is a very special kind of water. It's an electrically activated water. It's a water that is rich in sunlight energy, so-called biophotons in fruit water and vegetable water. We should be getting our water from foods, but because most of us are eating processed foods and we're eating meat and we're eating food that's, been, that's had its water cooked out, when we eat foods, we can, the body's gonna have to find water somewhere to dilute the foods and to create the soupy mass that will drop into the intestine. You can aid the process by drinking water with your meals. Also, drinking water with your meals will dilute your blood sugar. If you're eating bread and pasta and sweets and cakes and, and soda pop, you'll dilute your blood sugar with water. This is one of the simplest tricks for diabetics. Just drinking water will dilute your blood sugar. Do it first thing in the morning. 
For you guys who are, are testing your blood sugar first thing in the morning, if you're diabetic, notice how when you drink a lot of water, you'll dilute your blood sugar. So something as simple as drinking water with your meals or drinking water first thing in the morning or just drinking lots of water can go a long way towards mitigating this postprandial, post-eating hyperglycemia effect. Certainly using your B-complex and other nutrients can, can also help with your meals. Uh, let's see here. Diabetes takes biggest bite out of U.S. healthcare spending. We kind of touched on this yesterday. The 10 most costly health expenses in 2013, diabetes number one, heart disease number two, and then low back and neck pain number three, high blood pressure number four, and injuries from falls number five. A diabetes $101 billion, $101.4 billion in 2013. And they're so tragic because diabetes, folks, is un necessary. Unnecessary. You don't need a doctor for diabetes. You do not need to go to a doctor if you're a diabetic. It's irrelevant. There's nothing a doctor can do for you. And no doctor in good conscience should ever even accept payment from somebody from a, who's a diabetic if, simply for dosing them with, with metformin. Diabetes is an at-home health challenge. You control your eating, you use nutritional supplements, and you reduce your stress. The only two reasons why blood sugar goes up, folks, is because of cortisol, stress hormone, and because of, uh, and because of food, because of ingestion of sugar. My friend Eileen, I don't know if you're listening, Eileen, she sent me an article that, about uh, how skipping meals can cause an uh, increase in blood sugar. Well, skipping meals doesn't cause an increase in blood sugar. It's the body's stress response that's associated with low blood sugar that increases, uh, that increases the uh, blood sugar, not skipping meals. It's the cortisol that's associated with skipping meals. The only two reasons why blood sugar goes up is because of cortisol and because a stress hormone that is, and because of what we're eating. None of it involves a doctor, period. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Eric in California. Good morning, Eric, what's up? Welcome to Hi, the Brain Side. Hey, what's up, been man? Listening to you, been listening to you since the beginning, and you mentioned Richard Bucky's Cosmic Consciousness book. The way, oh, the way the book. Yeah. did you read hey. that? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a hidden gem. Nobody ever talks about that one. A lot of, not much cosmic consciousness around, I don't think. But. No, there isn't. That, you know, can, can I just, you want to tell, tell the listeners a little bit about that before you get to your questions, because that's such a cool book. Did you read it? It's been it? a long time, but I mean, he, he But the he idea, breaks, the basic, he, the basic he idea. He breaks down the idea of, uh, well, I mean, he shows the qualities of, 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 of different uh, people through history that uh, are a result, I guess, of cosmic consciousness. Right. In and other why, words, just, just this idea that there's a God and there's an intelligence in the universe and everything is in perfect order. Throughout history, there have been people who realized this thing. And this guy, right. Raymond Bucky, called it cosmic consciousness. And it's not airy-fairy and it's not hippy-dippy. It's actually the real deal. And there have been people throughout history, from Meister Eckhart to, right. to Jesus and Moses. And you know, throughout history, there have been people who've had these, uh, these cosmic consciousness experiences. And for anybody who wants to read a really cool book. It was written in the 19th century, I believe, or early 20th century, yeah. by Raymond Bucky, B-U-C-K-E, Cosmic Consciousness. Thanks right. for bringing that up. I appreciate it, Eric. Sure. What's going on? What's up? Oh, you know what? I'm sorry, man. We got to take a break. Can you hold through the break, Eric? Sure, sure. All right. Thank you. I apologize. All right. Hang tight if you're on hold. We'll get to you when we come back on Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network, 844-236-6010 is our call-in number. We'll be back right after this. Back on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to Eric in California. Sorry to digress there, Eric, but it's all you, buddy. How can I help? Okay. I'm talking about a family member. My mother, she's 92. She had a, 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 stro a stroke in uh, April. Okay. And they didn't determine it then. They think now it's atrial fibrillation, but now they're... She just got, she's going down a little slowing down, and she had, and we took her into the hospital yesterday. And they, they, What did they give her? What's she well, on? They're, well, they're giving her uh, met, metropoline. Metropolol? Metropolol, yeah, and the uh, uh, Lasix, okay. which I kept her off. And so, so I'm going to kill her and Cumid, and they're going to, I think they're going to give her And Cumid, in too. Okay, so what's well, the, that's, what's, that's the what's, medical model at work for you. Yeah. So yeah, here you got sure this is. fragile woman. Uh, she's 92 years old, and now they're going to poison her body. Metoprolol right. just 
dumbs down her heart, just just turns turns down the, the electrical energy on the heart. Brilliant, doctor. Tachycardia, uh, too. Yeah, so. Tachycardia means her heart is beating fast. She's trying to get oxygen. Her body's trying to deliver yeah, oxygen right, right, is what right. the problem is. So here's the deal. First and foremost, get her on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine ASAP as soon as possible. In fact, you know what I'll do for you, Eric? Do you have doing, it? Uh, yeah, we've, I've been uh, doing it for a while for her. Okay, good. Get her some extra vitamin C also. Okay. Get her on vitamin E. Get her 400 yeah. IU of vitamin E. Yeah. A day, get her on coenzyme Q10. I would be using the ubiquinol form uh, okay. because she needs it right away, and it's a little more expensive. Uh, but get her on 100 to 200 milligrams a day. Make sure she's using enough magnesium. Uh, get her on, uh, you want to keep her, her uh, calories down, but you want her nutriated. Uh, the Cron diet, calorie restriction, optimum nutrition. Calories are not her friend, but yeah. nutrition is. She's a so, natural cal calorie restrictor. <laughs> uh, she's a natural that w naturally that way, but she needs yeah. nutrition. Is the thing, yeah, you know. Needs, yeah. So soup, bone soup. Make her okay. bone soup. Uh, have her live on it all day. Bone soup, morning, noon, and night. Bone soup. Uh, you can also get her protein smoothies, especially bone broth protein. Uh, she may have a problem with whey protein. Uh, sometimes older folks do because they're not making enough digestive juices and digestive enzymes. Maybe small amounts of whey protein. See how she does, but definitely bone broth protein. And you can get that off Brightside uh, BrightsideHealth.com if you want my bone broth protein. But you can find it. I think you can find it anywhere. Bone broth protein powder. It's delicious. Make her smoothies. If you have a Vitamix, make her vegetable juices. The less she eats, the better off she is. But you want her doing getting nutrition, right. and that's where these liquids come in. Uh, and of course, it goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway. Anything with, that's going to spike her blood sugar is the enemy. Uh, and the cakes and sweets and soda pop and fruit juice doesn't sound like she's gonna, she eats that stuff anyway. Yeah, she, but uh, she does, does she have a sweet tooth? She does, but her she has no diabetes and, and no blood. She pressure. has diabetes too. She doesn't have diabetes, and she's, her blood, blood pressure is good. So. Okay, well, she still may have a sugar problem, so it's probably a good idea to get her off of that stuff. More protein okay. will help. If she can okay. do eggs, that's also another good, another good food. Uh, and then also fiber, uh, that will also help her with her sweet tooth. If you grind up some flaxseed fiber in a coffee grinder and just put it right in water and have her drink that down. Uh, or if you want, you can put it in some unsweetened almond milk and give it a little bit of taste. Uh, and that will help her also with her, uh, with her sweet tooth. And it'll also help her with her circulation and it'll also help her with her digestive health. Uh, there's so many more things you could do. If How you about can get natural blood, are there natural blood thinners? Yeah, I was about to tell you. If you, uh, uh, water is is the best natural blood uh, thinner, uh, in my opinion. So make sure she's doing uh, generous amounts of liquids, uh, which the soups will do, and the vegetable juices, and the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. But just give her straight water in the middle of the day. That will also help, especially first thing in the morning. Uh, water will help because the blood tends to uh, throughout the night. The blood because we're not moving, the blood has a tendency to coagulate first thing in the morning. It'll be a little bit thicker. So drinking water first thing in the morning can help. Uh, as well. If you can get her to move her body, I don't know if she's bedridden or not, but if you can get her to move her body, that will also help. Being bedridden, uh, being bedridden will, uh, will make it more likely that her blood will clot or blood will, will coagulate. So keeping her moving as best as you can is also yeah. a good idea. Does that help? That helps. That helps. Yeah. I, you, I just wanted to ask, you mentioned spinach in the earlier part of your talk here about, is that connected to uh, diabetes? The, uh, spinach? You were talking about food. Yeah. Is there any problem with spinach? Uh, you shall have to see. Some people do have a problem with spinach, but not. Yeah, it's a great food. If she can do it, she can definitely do spinach. Okay. If she can, uh, it's a great source. Of, it's a good source of iron and, as well as other nutrients. Uh -huh. But um, some people do have a problem with spinach, so you'll just have to see how you do. Okay. Hey, okay? Thank you. Appreciate All right, man. It. Good to talk to you. Thanks for the kind yeah. words, and uh, have, a, have a beautiful holiday and New Year. We'll talk again soon. Thanks so much. Okay, let's move on to uh, Shantae in Alabama. Shantae, what's up? Good morning. Morning. You hey. had mentioned that if I called back, you could talk some more about the contact ulcer. I'm sorry, the contact ulcer, did you say? Yes, sir. On the skin? No, sir. My daughter has um, an ulcer on her throat. Oh, she has a, uh, I remember you. Yeah, she had ulceration on the throat. How old's your daughter? She's only 18. She's only 18. That is not good. What else is going on? Something else is going on. That's not the only you know, problem I she has. I don't know because I asked her last night, you know, if she had, you know, was she ate, did she burp, did, you know, did she notice she, anything and stuff like that. And she said no. She doesn't she's been on the Tangy Tangerine, uh, the on the go. And you said she's not and, smoking. She's not smoking, right? Oh, 
don't know. Okay. I, I don't know. And then, and then, um, uh, is she? Does she have any weight issues or menstrual cycle None. issues or skin issues? She's yeah, had any? skin issues, but okay. we've been dealing with those, and that's another subject. Well, no, it's not another. Um, this is the thing, Shante. It's not another subject. Here's the here's the idea, uh, and, I've, and this is what I was. I think I was getting at this the last time you called. You have to have multiple points of breakdown in order to assess what's going on. One point of breakdown doesn't give us enough information. So you can give, you know, I could give you some, some symptomatic things that you could do, maybe do using zinc lozenges to suck, suck on the zinc and zinc will accelerate the healing of, of the tissue, surface tissue in the esophagus. But to, I want to know what's going on in her system and you need multiple points of breakdown. So we need to see at least two or three points so we can see what's going on. So you got to give me some symptoms. Now skin is one of them. Absolutely. Absolutely. What are her skin issues? Well, they were very severe. What, what were they? Tell me. A, Describe them. Severe acne. Severe okay, acne. severe acne. This is a serious. This is a. Uh, it's not a serious problem because it's acne, but it's a serious issue because it's now because it's connected to other things. Ulcerations in the throat are a sign that the skin inside the throat is breaking down. Uh, acne problems are a sign that there's an issue on the surface skin. So we've got kind of the same problem going on here. Were they cysts? Were the problem cysts? Or were, what kind of breakouts were they on her skin? Well, the thing is that. She's cleared up. That was like uh, a year and a half, two years ago. We've been how did you? On it. She, how did she clear them up? A very clean diet. She changed her diet. She's been, yes, sir. And okay. she's been, uh, you know, doing the tangy tangerine. I mean, the well, whole hang on, Shantae, because I'm going to run, run, run. I'm going to run out of time. So let me ask you some questions, okay, Shantae? How? Uh, what were her foods that made her break out when she was on? When she broke out, what did she eliminate to clear up her skin? Well, we had the test done. She was highly allergic to eggs and um, I can't remember all the things, but she okay. went grain free, you know, she okay. went gluten free. Good. Good. She went dairy free. And, and her skin then, cleared up. Well, it took some more. We've been uh, doing some other uh, dermatology. Okay, well, here's the deal, and we're going to run out of time, so I'm just going to get to cut to the chase here. She has got a digestive health issue, and the proof of it is when you eliminated certain foods, she got better. She probably hasn't eliminated everything she needs to eliminate. Although her skin is better, she still has a skin problem inside her throat. That's what, her, that's what an ulceration in the esophagus is. It's a skin problem inside the throat, so she still has some skin issues. So keep working on the foods. Is she on a probiotic? Is she on fermented foods or, or a probiotic supplement? The flora effect. Yes. Get her on the get her on the nightly essence instead of the flora. Have her do way. okay, good. Have her do nine a day. Get her on the fucoid Z, and have her do nine a day. And you may want to uh, also use the liquid, which is called Z radical, which I usually don't recommend because it's got a lot of sugar in it. But that may help her topically. It may help her with the esophagus. So maybe gargling with it. Have her sucking on zinc lozenges. That may help. Get her some vitamin C lozenges and have her suck on those as well. The vitamin C and the zinc will contact the esophagus and will accelerate the healing. I'm still concerned that that that, that uh, she's got some digestive health issues. So still keep keep probing with foods. She may not know what a digestive problem is. You know, when we have digestive health issues our whole life, we don't know what they are. You know, we just assume that they're normal because we don't really know what it's like to not have them. So keep probing that way because there's still something else going on. Uh, and then look for a couple other points. Look for joint issues and uh, ask her about her menstrual cycle because usually that's going to be involved as well. And you know what, Shantae, I, I keep getting to you at the end of the program and I, and I run out of time. <laughs> So, so here's what I want you to do, sweetheart, okay? Send an email to ben at ksco.com. Put your phone number in there and give me a day or two, and I'll call you back, and I'll work with you directly, okay? Well, thank you. I appreciate okay. that. My pleasure. God bless you, and happy holidays to you and your family. Good thank luck with you. everything. You all right, take care. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for listening to The Bright Side, friends. Please check out my Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, a retinol 5% gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. And call 866-735-2470 if you want to join The Bright Side, Ben team. Thanks for listening. Have an awesome, wonderful, spectacular, beautiful day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. 